Peace and love, family. Peace and love. <clears throat> My name is Willette Pendergrass. Pendergrass. Willette. And I have a message for anyone that would like to hear. And my message is that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. You are a very powerful spiritual being having a human experience. Knowing that, I mean, truly knowing it is very significant because not only do you have the power to change your mind, the will and power to change your mind, you have the will and power to change the world. Hear me out. <clears throat> Save yourself. Save yourself. If you save yourself by loving yourself, love is the most powerful energy that exists ever. So if you save yourself by loving yourself, truly loving any and all of you, knowing that you are a spiritual being, knowing that this body is like cloth, is clothing, which is a part of the earth. And we know it all connects ashes to ashes, dust to dust. That's a beautiful thing. And the way that you take care of yourself is to be honest with yourself. Honesty is very important. I just know for me, being honest with myself, I know that my spirit, because I'm a spiritual being having a human experience, is unsettled with consuming any other spiritual being from a fish to a duck to a cow. My spirit doesn't settle right with that. So that's one way I chose to take care of myself. I chose not to eat animals because I changed my mind. My perspective changed my mind and my mind changed my world. That's small potatoes compared to where we're at today. Let's just say it's a very important time to be alive. The year is 2019. We all know that Donald Trump is president. And irregardless to whether I agree with his way of thinking and treating other people, that really is not as important as how I choose to feel about him. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because everything is energy. And if I focus my energy on being negative, then I am being a part of the problem. Yet, if I shift my perspective, change my mind, now I am changing the world for the betterment of the in totality of the human race. So I, I know that we, the people, if we want to make a difference in this world that we're living in today, which is a very important time to be alive because there's a lot of a lot of things that's going on that can change the world as we see it and not for the betterment of the human race, for all mankind. 
with that be it's, it's like it's it's we're living like in a state of emergency actually that's why i said it's a better a beautiful time to be alive because we have the power to change that we have the power to create greatness in this world in big and small ways we have the power to create greatness in this world and one of the things that i'm asking that each and every individual that hears this I'm asking you to choose to take a perspective in life that enlightens your your power, that expands your power for the greatness of, of all, everyone that exists, all beings, all spiritual beings having a human experience. Because it doesn't mean that I have to kiss your behind and if I don't like you, that's not what it means at all. You put people where they belong. Once you know who a person is, I'm not saying put them and make them your best friend and love them and do for, even though you know that we, they would stab you in the back. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is don't feed into the negative energy because that negative energy it's not doing our world any good. You know, there is there is this this maybe a hidden ag- agenda behind that because some people feed off negative energy and all I'm asking is that we don't submit to that. I'm asking that each individual that wish to make this world a better place does not submit to the negative energy. That instead we utilize the power of the the power of love to change the world, the power that we have, the gift, the greatest gift that we've ever been given. And the way that we do that first is to love ourselves. When I love me, I'm not anti anything or anyone. I accept people for who they are and place them where they belong, whether it's in my life or not. I place them where they belong. So, I'm looking into the power of eight to be done on a global scale. Whether you're doing it with family, friends, or strangers, the power of eight, I feel, is a part of the answer. But please take care of yourself. And the way that you love and take care of yourself is to be honest with yourself. Am I taking good care of my health? Am I doing what's necessary to take in here in my health? Am I loving me? Am I acting loving towards me? Am I cleansing my body? The cleansing is very important. Fasting, I didn't even realize how important fasting is, but fasting is amazing. Look, in, look into dry fasting and um, see the effects that it has had on people. I was always anti-fasting. You know, initially the thought of fasting is like, oh my God, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Change your mind, change your life, change the world. Peace. Deuces, I'm out.